The assessment and feedback are two important tools that can be used to improve student learning. However, it is important to evaluate the effectiveness of these tools in order to ensure that they are meeting their intended goals. There are a number of methods that can be used to evaluate the effectiveness of e-assessment and feedback. One method is to collect student feedback. Students can be asked to complete surveys or interviews about their experiences with e-assessment and feedback. This feedback can provide valuable insights into how students are using these tools and how they are benefiting from them. Another method for evaluating the effectiveness of e-assessment and feedback is to track student performance. This can be done by looking at student grades, test scores, and other measures of academic achievement. By tracking student performance, it is possible to see how e-assessment and feedback are impacting student learning. In addition to collecting student feedback and tracking student performance, it is also important to consider the costs and benefits of e-assessment and feedback. E-assessment and feedback can be expensive to implement and maintain. It is important to weigh the costs of these tools against the benefits that they provide. Overall, there are a number of methods that can be used to evaluate the effectiveness of e-assessment and feedback. By using a combination of these methods, it is possible to get a comprehensive picture of how these tools are impacting student learning. Here are some specific examples of methods that can be used to evaluate the effectiveness of e-assessment and feedback. S student surveys Students can be asked to complete surveys about their experiences with e-assessment and feedback. The surveys can ask students about their perceptions of the fairness and usefulness of the e-assessments, as well as their satisfaction with the feedback they received. Student interviews Students can also be interviewed about their experiences with e-assessment and feedback. Interviews can provide more in-depth insights into students' thoughts and feelings about these tools. Student performance Student performance can be tracked over time to see how e-assessment and feedback are impacting their learning. This can be done by looking at student grades, test scores, and other measures of academic achievement. Cost-benefit analysis a cost-benefit analysis can be conducted to weigh the costs of e-assessment and feedback against the benefits that they provide. This can help to determine whether or not these tools are worth the investment. By using a combination of these methods, it is possible to get a comprehensive picture of how e-assessment and feedback are impacting student learning. This information can be used to make informed decisions about the use of these tools in the future. In addition to the methods mentioned above, there are a number of other factors that can be considered when evaluating the effectiveness of e-assessment and feedback. These factors include the type of e-assessment and feedback used, the, the context in which e-assessment and feedback are used, the characteristics of the students who are using e-assessment and feedback. By considering all of these factors, it is possible to get a more complete picture of the effectiveness of e-assessment and feedback. This information can be used to improve the design and implementation of these tools and to ensure that they are meeting the needs of students.